Заправлены в планшеты космические карты И штурман уточняет в последний раз маршрут Давайте-ка, ребята, споемте перед старт How's it going, everyone? It's Nathan from Nathan's MRE And today we do have a very special ration This one is a very special ration This is Russian cosmonaut food and this was sent to us by Outdoor Tactical. I have a link in the description for his channel. Go check him out. Cannot thank him enough for sending this to us. What an awesome, awesome review. Okay, so as far as I know, this is the biggest amount. This is, I don't know if it's all of them, but it's more than anybody I've ever seen review before. Uh, the most I've ever seen is six. This is actually 10. It's actually more than 10. There's multiple things in this first package. We're going to open that up first. So everything's in a tube and, and spaced up. Everything's in tubes, right? So you can just squirt in your mouth and go. So we're going to start off with this guy first. And we're just going to shuffle this to the back a little bit here to give us a little space right in front of the camera. And this guy, the I translated the main tube. The main tube in this is pea soup. So I'm very curious, very curious. open this up and see and so we have our pea soup right there we have some accessories and I'm not sure cosmopit.ru is this hmm this is deionized water we have what looks to be a wet wipe Something in a bag here. And it feels to be a ration heater. And that's really cool. It's so damn deep I can't even see what's in there. And it feels like there's a heating element right here. There's another pouch down the back side of it. There's two heating elements in it, and there's two different pouches. So I'm guessing you use this. I'm just not sure what this is though. Look at that. Weird, man. So we've got the translator out. What this key is for is to clip on the back of the tubes and you could actually roll it, right? And it squeezes everything out of the tube. It has a little slot in there, you can see. That's kind of cool. Um, so we might use our heater just to see how it works. We'll go ahead and open up everything here and we'll use that a little bit later. Here's our water for that. Let's go and check out the antiseptic wipe as it translates to, or the moist towelette. Nice big Russian moist towelette, look at that. Very nice. He's got the cleaner, greasy little mitts. Okay, so our pea soup. I'm not sure if you're supposed to shake these or not. I'll give her a little, a little bit of that action, that action going here. So we have our sport for an And I'll put a link for that in the description. We're gonna go ahead and open it. And of course it's sealed up there. Our cap has a little, Thing on the back hopefully you don't squirt out and let's see how we look here it sounds like it's pretty liquefied it's not like a pea soup you'd find here it's more like a, a stew right it has little pieces of carrots and beef in it let's go ahead and take a smell it smells like Russian food It tastes like beef stew, but you can see a lot of the pea in it. That's pretty good. It's not what you would expect out of a can. Let's kind of keep these separated though because we will be retranslating everything to mix them up too much. Okay, this one is pork with vegetables. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. It's got a sticker on the back.
Oh, I see. I understand now. Every one has a heater in it. Everyone that needs a heater has a heater in it. Now, I'm not sure, and everyone has a moist towelette, I guess. We'll see. And everyone has a pack of water. That's W-O-T-E-R. Clear the table off here, because uh, we know how people get. So let's go ahead and let's put this back here. And this is pork with vegetables. I'll give her a little shake maybe first. Wow, look at that. It just tastes like Russian canned food, but it's minced up a little a little finer, a little more fine. It is, has a striking resemblance to the pea soup, uh, as far as the smell goes. You can tell there's a lot, of, a lot of pork in it, a lot of vegetables in it. Whoa, that's some serious flavor. Very well seasoned, very, very nice. Hmm. There's a lot of food here. We're gonna set that right on top of there. We're gonna get this guy open next. But next is the pork and buck the pork and buckwheat porridge. So basically uh pork kasha. And every one of these has a ration heater in it. And I guess a thing for the tube, right? So we'll kind of keep all that together there. And our pork buckwheat. Maybe we'll shake it. Maybe we'll shake it. I keep putting the lid back on, but it doesn't matter. We have a lot of leftovers out of this ration, that's for sure. Look at that. It all smells similar. I mean, a lot of the Russian stews smell similar. A lot of bay leaf in it. Uh, very, it's very well seasoned, but very lightly seasoned. This one you can take, taste the buckwheat. Buckwheat is slight, slightly perfumed. They're probably a lot better heated up. There's no reason to burn 10 heaters for this because it's not really that much better, I don't believe. Next up, we have the compote, which is dried fruit. And I'm not really sure what to expect if it's like a yogurt or if it's like a liquid. Or if it's just like a, like a jam. I don't know, but we're going to find out very soon. And this one only has a wet wipe. It does not have the ration heater, of course. And they're very large tubes. How many grams is this? 165? We'll shake it. This one sounds very much like liquid. So it actually might be a drink. Yeah, it's like a fruit juice. Wow. That has a tense amount of flavor in it. We'll drink some right out of the tube. It just tastes like, I don't really know, almost like an apple juice but with several different kinds of fruits mixed in it. Wow, that is a intense amount of flavor. It's very, very, very good. Make sure that's screwed on good and tight. Maybe we'll kind of prop that one up a little bit. And next up, we have some chicken kasha. Go and then 
also has his ration heater and all this stuff inside. So the chicken kasha feels like it's pretty thick. What am I doing? What am I doing? That looks odd. Sweet. Hmm. So the translator lied. This is actually like a rice pudding kind of stuff. It has apricots. It has all kinds of stuff in it. You can see it is more like a pudding, almost like a tapioca kind of kind of stuff. It's like it's sweet, but it has kind of a funky, I guess the milk is kind of a funky taste. But it's not overall bad. I guess it's supposed to be like a dessert. And moving on here, this should be the borscht. The borscht. And this will make 100% sure we're on track here. And yeah, so it's meat, meat, beef, beet, potatoes, carrots, and so on. And... If you know Russian food, borscht is a really popular item in Russia, and it's made mostly from beets. There's many different variants of it, right? Put that right there. We'll give it a nice little shake. So let's see what the borscht looks like. The borscht, B-O-R-S-C-H-T. It's like a, whoa, buddy. It's like a beet stew. You can see it's beets and meat and all kinds of stuff in it. Oh, that is so good. It's uh, maybe ever so slightly sweet from the beets. I hate to squeeze this too much. You know it's going to happen. Yep, and it happened. There it is. But it is like a very nice stew. It tastes like it still has some bay leaf and different things in it, though. That gives you that familiar Russian stew taste. Okay, so we have next up mashed potatoes and chicken. And this should be interesting. Open it up here. go it sounds fairly liquidy piece of fuzz on it let's go ahead and stab it open and see if it looks like mashed potatoes it's not really so much mashed potatoes I'm trying to <laughs> I hate to squeeze that too hard as it is like a chopped potato. And it is definitely tastes like a potato stew. So we get some more out here. It's definitely not made to be squeezed into a spoon. It's made to be squeezed in your mouth. The potatoes make it hard to get out, but there you are. Definitely taste the potatoes. Let's squirt some right in my mouth. Oh, wait. There's a lot of chicken in there. A lot of chicken breast. You can tell it's white meat chicken. It's a little bit on the dry side. A lot of potato in it. It has a nice, hearty, like, chicken broth to it. And it's very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. So next up, we have the mushroom soup. Go ahead and try that out. Slice and dice that open. And all this stuff tastes just fine. 
you know, at room temperature. Uh, I mean, I guess you could heat it up. If you're eating all the time, you probably want to. Just to kind of break up the monotony of it. Mushroom soup should be interesting. Make sure we get the opening open on it. A little bit thicker. It's almost like potato soup, right? You see the mushroom, the carrots, all kinds of stuff in that bad boy. That tastes totally different. You can really taste the mushrooms in it. It has not really a sweeter taste to it. Almost like a vegetable stock kind of taste to it, like a, a vegetable soup. It's actually very, very good. All, none of these are bad so far at all. It's definitely not what I thought it was going to be as far as the taste goes. Okay, so next up, we have mashed meat. And I wonder if this is going to be like a pate kind of stuff. Feels pretty solid. The mashed meat. Let's go ahead and see. It all looks similar, but the taste is dramatically different on a lot of these. This is like a beef stock. You can see it's in like a, a broth, you may say. It tastes like a, it tastes like very fine ground beef with beef stock on it. I mean, it's freaking awesome. It does function a lot easier squirting right in your mouth than it does uh, trying to squirt a spoon for sure. And next up, we have a dessert. It's going to be cottage cheese with green apples. So on this one, it wouldn't actually translate the name of it. But I got the back of it. Basically, all it has is cottage cheese and green apples in it. So that's pretty much self-explanatory. So we'll see. Is the knife getting dull? We'll see what's in it. Give it a good shake. I, mean, I think we're good it had some kind of just like water on top of it but it's not leaking from this so I'm not sure I'm sure they probably uh, clean the tops of them with something to sterilize them maybe that's what it was I don't see anything in the lid at all kind of odd and I want to share with you too before you stab this open all these are production of uh, 2018 this one's 525 2018 so everything's fresh this one's 521 2018 and so on and these did come right from Russia and uh, you know a real scarce treat to go try these especially all of these okay and this recaps cottage cheese with green apples it looks weird doesn't smell like hardly anything at all. Let's take a taste, take a quick look at it here. Yeah. They weren't lying. That is cottage cheese with green apples. The cottage cheese is very curdled, which is the way cottage cheese should be. There's a very strong green apple taste to it. Out of all the ones, we tried here. This one is definitely the strangest. I mean, it's kind of like, you know, cottage cheese is kind of like bad milk anyway. So it kind of has that bad milk kind of texture to it, but not the taste. And that's very, very strange. So before we go, let's go ahead and blast one of these heaters real quick. And let's go ahead and heat up. 
Let's heat up the borscht. So we have two pouches here on the heater. And it's got some instructions on the back. Instructions are very vague. Okay, so basically it just says, put the food in the lower pocket. All right, so there's the lower pocket. It says to dump the water in the upper pocket. Just kind of fold that back. We'll just kind of blast that in there like so. And we're just gonna see what happens to it. See if it's gonna work or not. It's working, something's happening. Okay, so the water is boiling. You can hear it boiling down inside there. And the small pouch next to next to it is raging. So we have a pouch, how it works, there's a pouch on this side, I guess it goes down and under that, and then boils out this side. We dump the water in up here. But it looks like the meal itself, it's like crazy hot, I can't even get it out of there. Stuck in there. Dang, man. And so the mill itself isn't actually wet at all. And it's starting to get hot. Let's go ahead and put it down in there. We'll try it here in a second. Okay. So it's not actually really steaming, but it's pretty much done. Well, it's not done, but it's hot enough. We'll get it too hot, and then we can't pick it up. So there's that. That guy is still all expanded out. And you can see what it's doing there. So toss that to the side. It's definitely hot on the bottom. I'll give it a shake, maybe. I'll try the borscht one more time with it hot. You can see it's got a different color. A lot more red color. Whoa, buddy. It just made it a lot more liquid-like, really. Definitely not what I expected. I definitely expected... Um, I would think everything would be nasty is what my expectation was of it. That is definitely not the way it was. Everything is very nice. I have to thank Outdoor Tactical one more time. The link will be in the description for his channel. Go check him out. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a good day. Что солдаты с кровавых не пришедшие полей.